Alrighty. Good morning, yogis. Your 8.15 Tuesday morning vinyasa class. Good to be back after a long break. Nice three weeks of reconnecting with family and friends and nature. And now I'm ready to get back into a regular routine and flow. So happy to be back with you guys. I really look forward to this every week. So look forward to this. Um, today we're just going to do a nice balanced uh, stretch and strengthening uh, flow today. Get into a lot of back, shoulders. I spent three weeks driving around that van, so I need to open put it up a lot, kind of crack open the chest a little bit, get into the hips a little bit. We're going to start standing, so let's just get into it today. And we'll begin in Tadasana Mountain Pose. And so Tadasana, you know, I think most of us favor like one hip, we stand on one leg, we favor one side of the body. So Tadasana is all about finding that equal balance. So begin at the foundation of the feet, go ahead and place the big toes down, fan those other toes out, press them them down and stretch them out from the base to the tips, root down through those heels. We'll pull the kneecaps slightly up and in. Just a little tilt in the pelvis, tucking that tailbone in, hip points come up. We'll roll those shoulders up, let them slide down the back, extend those fingertips down towards the earth. Close the eyes, reach up through the crown of the head. Let's take a nice slow inhale through the nose, begin to draw that awareness into the body. Nice, slow exhale. Find a little bit more grounding through the toes, heels. Just begin to lengthen out that inhalation and exhalation to a count of four or five. Just notice the flow of the breath. Is there a place that's getting stuck a little bit, flowing a little more free? Not trying to force anything here. Just noticing, observing. That inhale, find a little bit more length through the crown of the head, spine goes nice and long. On that exhale, just let go of any expectations of your practice, judgment you have. Any to do's of the day, thoughts that might have come onto the mat, just let them go. And just find yourself in this moment alone right here now. Begin to just kind of shift around into the four corners of the feet, just exploring that contact with the earth. Circle the torso a little bit side to side, front to back. And stay with this rhythm of breath throughout your practice this morning. It'll let you know when you need to rest or if you'd like to push yourself. It'll keep you right here grounded in this moment. One more cycle of breath. Inhale, fill up, find length, reach. And exhale, find that stability, grounding, and support. All right, softly blink the eyes open. Inhale those arms up overhead. Go ahead and bring the point of your fingers together. Interlace the fingers together. Nice inhale here. Let's go ahead and take a side body stretch. Root down to the opposite hip. Extend those fingertips out. Deep breath into that side of the rib cage. And inhale back up. And on over to the other side. One more breath. Inhale back up. We'll go ahead and separate the hands. Go ahead and pretend like you're pulling like on a pull-up bar. We'll just squeeze and pull those shoulders down the back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Just like you're holding a pencil back there in between the shoulders. Inhale back up. Let's do that again. Pull, squeeze the biceps. Squeeze those shoulders together. One more time, inhale up, opening up through that chest and squeeze and hold it. All right, arms come out to a T, we'll circle out the wrists, make some fists, snack crackle pops out. All right, inhale, open up nice and wide. Hips come slightly forward, just a little back bend here, big breath here. 
on the exhale, we'll cross one elbow over, take the chin to the chest and just walk the fingertips around the back. Nice big inhale and then squeeze the, ch the chin to the chest, stretching through the back. Inhale, open, move with the breath. And other elbow over the top, chin towards the chest, stretch out the back. All right, we'll take the uh, left arm up, bend the elbow, walk the fingertips down the back, take the other hand, just give it a little nudge, and the crown of the head comes back. Go and take that left ear over to the bicep. We'll just take a little side stretch over to the right. Big breath into the ribs. Back up, head to center, right arm comes out, thumb comes down. Go ahead and bend at the elbow. If you can reach around and get a hold of the fingers, pull. If not, grab whatever you get a hold of. Maybe you can just grab the shirt. Maybe you just reach the center of the back. Strap works great here as well. Crown of the head back against that bicep and forearm. One more breath here. And release, shake it out. All right, take that to the other side. Right arm up, bend at the elbow, gentle nudge back. Walk the fingertips down the center of the back. And then go ahead and take the ear over to the bicep and just a little side body stretch. Big breath into the right side of the ribs. Back up, head back to center. Take that left arm out, thumb down, bend at the elbow, reach for which you can get a hold of. Crown the head back, deep breath. One more breath. And release, shake it all out, side to side here. The weight of the arms, guide you, so like open at the back a little bit more. All right, wonderful. We'll take the left arm forward, we'll take it into the eagle arms, guide the other elbow underneath, with a bind here. Can't wrap the arms completely, you can just kind of use that uh, forearm to hold, we're basically trying to open up the back of the shoulder. Here comes our announcement. Inhale, we'll lift up through the uh, elbows. Big inhale here. On the exhale, squeeze them down into the chest. If you want a little deeper, you can hinge at the hips and fold forward. Draw the elbows in nice and tight. Stretch across to the middle of the back. Nice big inhale here. You can bend in the knees a little bit if you need to. Take a few cycles of breath. All right, one more breath. Fold it forward, root to rise up through the legs. Go ahead and release, shake it down out. We'll take that to the other side. Right arm forward, left arm wraps underneath. Inhale, lift up through those elbows, nice big breath. Exhale, squeeze it in. If you'd like, fold forward, draw those elbows in and the chin to the chest. Big breath here. And you fold it, roots arise. Open up, let it go. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Go ahead and interlace the palms, draw the knuckles down. Pop out the chest, hips come slightly forward. Deep breath in. If you'd like, exhale, go ahead and take the knuckles up and over. Big breath into the center of the back. Bend and straighten the legs, start sending the thighs back, fold it. One more breath. Deep elbows are back up, nice and slowly. Shake it on out. That was kind of my 
every time we finally landed somewhere after driving in that van for a couple of hours, just keep bringing that back. So really nice. All right, let's inhale up. Exhale, hinge and fold, extend out through the torso. Let's inhale halfway, press the thigh back and that crown and head forward. Nice, long, flat spine. Deep breath in here. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. Grab for opposite elbows. Go ahead and pull them down to the earth. Extend out through the back a little bit more. So bend and straighten the knees as much or as little as you'd like. Just let the weight of the head be heavy here. Keep your holding any tension there in the face and the jaw. Stick out your tongue. No one's looking. What you saying to me, Eric? Release any crease you have in the brow. All right, let's go ahead and unwind the arm. We'll go ahead and place the hands down. Step all the way back to a plank pose. Feel that belly fire up. Push out through the heels. We'll reach forward with the crown. If this is too much, go ahead and come down to the knees. Still using those same abdominal muscles. We're pushing up and away from the ground, so we kind of have a little bit of a rounding in the spine. So inhale here. On the exhale, we're going to push all the way back to our first downward dog. Shorten up your stance on one leg, and then the other. Pedal out to the feet. Make sure those toes are spread nice and wide, nice firm foundation. And then roll the creases of the elbows forward towards the top of the mat. So turning those elbows in. Nice inhale. On the exhale, melt the heels down and draw the heart towards the leg. Stay for a breath. We'll come back into plank pose. Back down, reach that crown forward. Nice inhale here. Go ahead and float the left leg up. On the exhale, we're going to draw that elbow to the outside of the left elbow, or the knee towards the elbow. Thank you. Extend the leg back. Long. Inhale. Left leg toward the inside of that left elbow. And send it on back. Second side, float the right leg up. Inhale. Outside of the right elbow. If this is too much, go ahead and come down to the knees. Inhale here, one more inside of the right elbow. Send it on back, drop the knees down, send the hips all the way back. We're going to take a small child pose. So here, knees together, thighs together, send the arm back alongside, you grab the back of the heels. This is too much. A blanket is really, really nice right under the heels. It gives you that support. If that's too much on the knees, you can also go to a wide top pose. Nice big inhale into the back. Let it all go. Go ahead and walk the hands back forward. We'll come into a tabletop. Get ourselves set up with our shoulders lined up with those wrists. Hips over the knees. Like tap out to the top. Press down firmly into the tops of the feet. Let's rock through some cat cows. Nice inhale, curve in the spine. Tailbone comes up and belly drops. Big inhale. Exhale, push the floor away. Hips come slightly forward and the gaze down and in. Rock through it with the rhythm of your breath. Pausing in any spots of feeling a little extra nice. Maybe adding on in. That feels good. Look over the shoulder, hip side to side. Circle out the hips, whatever is calling to you. All right, let's come back to center here. Extend that left leg. Directly out from the hip, press out from the heel. Inhale here. 
exhale, draw that knee to the outside elbow. Push the floor away to find a little space. Inhale, leg goes long. Gaze comes up. Exhale, draw to the inside elbow. Inhale, leg goes long. Go ahead and bend the leg. Add the arm at the side. Maybe reach back. Grab a hold of the inside of that foot. Kick up into that hand. Open up the chest. Look back over that right shoulder. That belly engage. Make sure you're breathing. Go ahead and let that go. Wrist a break. We'll take that forward a second time. Fire up the belly. Extend out to that right heel. Hold it down. Inhale. Exhale, knee to the outside elbow. Inhale, long, up. In. One more round, inhale. Outside. Take it long, in, inside. Take it long. Got to bend back to the uh, right knee. Add the opposite hand. Reach it back to the inside of the foot. Kick up into that hand. Stay for a breath or two. And gently release. Take knees nice and wide, toes touch, send those fingers back. Send the fingers, walk it forward, melt down through the chest. Rounds of breath here. Nice and warmed up and start moving a little quicker here in a moment. Deep breath into the hips, go back to the kidney. Exhale, just let it all go, melt down with the mat just a little bit. Walk the arms back, slide the legs back together, tuck those toes, push it back up, and we're facing dog. Go ahead and send the left leg up and back, kick out through that heel. We'll bend the leg and stack and open up the hips. So let that left heel be heavy. Let the weight of that just rotate and open the hips up to the side. Deep breath into that left hip. Stay for more and more breath. Inhale, back up. Exhale, draw the knee in towards the nose. We're gonna come into a low lunge. Drop the back knee. Take a moment to set yourself up. Kind of inch that heel forward on the left side. Build the foundation on the face. Pressing into the back top of that foot. Draw the energy up to the hips. Drop the tail down. A little rotation of the hip points up. Inhale up. Find length in that torso. And drop down a little bit more into the lunge. Deep breath in. On the exhale, palms come down. I'm going to tuck the back toe on the right side and pop that knee up. Press out through that right heel and keep that kneecap drawn up and in. I'm going to place the right hand down on a block or on the mat. Inhale and open up, rotate, twist that arm, stack the shoulders. Keep that back knee fired up. Drawing it up and in. Stay for one breath. Exhale, arms come back down. Draw the energy up through the legs. Extend the fingertips out and reach the crown forward. Kind of skiers and lunge here. Now coming in the crescent lunge. Inhale, rise up. Out to that back heel, 
draw that back root up and in, sinking the lungs a little more. Straighten the front leg, reach up with the fingertips. Big inhale, and then exhale, sink down back to the lunge. Airplane. Let's do that again. Inhale, straighten, lift. Exhale, sink. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Fingertips down to the mat. Back foot in slightly. And kick up into a little standing balance. Bend the front knee if you need to. That right hip's going to want to sort of open, so just draw the hip point down. Standing splits. And bring your head towards that shin as much as you can. Stay for a breath. Come out of that as gracefully as you can. Palms down. Step back to your point. Inhale here. On the exhale, lower all the way to the belly. And come into the space hold. Slide the elbow forward underneath the shoulder. Take a moment here, catch your breath, rock that hip side to side. Notice how one side of the body might feel a little bit. Press into the tops of the feet, press into the fingertips, and pull your heart space through. Feel that low back start to fire. Big inhale here. On the exhale, look over left shoulder. Deep breath into the right side of the ribs. Back to center. Inhale. Other direction. Take breath here. Left side of the ribs. Inhale, bring it back. Slide the palms underneath the shoulder. Push yourself up, back to plank, tabletop. Come back to downward dog. Anyways. Pause here for two cycles of breath. Nice big inhale into the center of the back. Lift that tail up. And exhale, melt down through the heels. One more big breath here. Let it go. Take the right. Leg up and back and take that series to the second side. Inhale here. Exhale. Knee to nose. We'll come into that low lunge second side. Take a rest whenever you need to. It's always available. Otherwise, set that foundation up. Inhale, arms up overhead. Lengthen the torso. Drop it. Breath in. On the exhale, fingertips come down. Tuck the back toes and pull that back knee up. Kind of a runner's lunge. Left hand on the block, inside of that right foot. Go ahead and twist and open the shoulders, stacking them up. That right knee pulls and tucks into the center of the body. Back knee is active, so just kind of hanging out there, straighten it out, push out to that heel. It's going to be a little bit more stability. All right, one more breath. Go ahead and release back down. Draw the energy up to that front leg. Extend the fingertips out towards the back heel. Reach the crown forward. The tail's going to bring you all the way up. Inhale, straighten the leg, find some length in the torso. Exhale, sit. Inhale up. Sneeze. Oh, no, sneeze is coming. Watch it. And exhale. One more. And exhale, sink. Fingertips down towards the earth. Kick that back foot in a little bit. Shift the weight into that front leg, bend the knee a lot. Then begin to draw the head down towards the shin. That left hip's going to draw up, so draw it back down, square it off. 
Inhale here. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, halfway lift, press the thighs back. Exhale, inch and fold. Let it all go. Inhale, all the way up, root to rise. Put your arms back to center. Close the eyes here for a moment. Energy settle throughout the body. Notice how the body feels differently from when it began. Mind's a little bit more quiet. Inhale, rise. And exhale, hit and fold. Moving with the breath. Inhale, flatten out the spine. Exhale, fold down and move. We'll step back with the right leg. We're going to come back with some low lunge again, second time. Inhale, those arms up overhead. Big breath here. Exhale, palm down. You'll tell that left foot over to the edge of the mat. We're going to come into lizard pose. So, really want to lengthen out. That right thigh, so you kind of wiggle back a little bit more. First, stay up nice and tall. Blocks great here as well. Two blocks great. You want to keep that left knee hugged in towards the center of the body. Nice deep breath into that left hip. Maybe you want to drop down to the forearm. Listen to the body. Getting any pinching, immediately back off. Hit your, your low, go ahead and come back up. One a little bit more here. Roll that left leg open, come to the outside edge of the foot. Maybe press the hip and fold in. Find a little bit more opening in the hip and low back. One a little bit more, maybe pop that back leg up back, grab a hold of it, draw that heel in towards the bump. Wherever you are, stay for a breath. Gently let it go. Back to center. Place the block off your side, heel toe that left leg back to the center of the back. Tuck the back foot, pull up through the knee, and work back up into pressing lunge. Take your time. Inhale here. On the exhale, we're going to take it over to warrior two. Drop the back, back heel down. Heel to arch alignment. Roll those thighs forward. Extend the arms out, front to back. Check in if you're leaning a little too much forward. Draw that back hip crease back. Inhale, we're going to go ahead and straighten up through the leg. We're going to look sideways. Big breath in, kind of a little rest here. Exhale, sink back in and look out over the arm. That a couple times. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, sink, move with the breath. One more. Inhale, up. And sink back in. Take extended side angle, take that elbow to the knee, or you can bring it to the inside with a block. And take that opposite arm up in front of the face, and up and over the top. You want that chest to open up, so draw that top shoulder back a little bit more, so that chest is nice and open. One more breath here. That core strength bring it back up to warrior two. Just straighten out that front leg, hip to hip, reach forward. We'll take it to the and off the side. We'll stack the shoulders. Block always available. What's a little bit better on the outside of that foot? Kind of open that chest a little bit. Better. Right, 
One more breath here. Back up, warrior two, bend that front right. Then we'll go ahead and turn the toes forward. I'm gonna turn around so you're not staring at my backside. Toes in, heels out. Just inhale, open up. Starfish pose, nice big breath in. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. And options here with the hands. You can walk them through the legs, find a little bit more deepening. You can come down to forearms on a block. You can bring them to the back or the calves, find a little bit more stability as the head descends down. Let's kind of explore a little rocking front to back in the feet. Come into the toes and the balls of the feet, then back into the heels. Feel that through the back of the legs and the hamstring. One more breath here. Exhale, let it all go. Then we'll go ahead and walk the fingertips back towards the front of the mat. Step forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach the right. All the way up. The palms back to heart center. Close the eyes. Find a little stillness. Let the heartbeat settle into the chest. Reconnect to the left breath. Second time through, inhale up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Move with that breath. Inhale, flatten out. And exhale, hinge and fold. Step the left leg all the way back. Take it up to that low lunge. Big breath in. Exhale. We'll toe the right foot out to the corner of the mat, both palms to the inside, and then options through that lizard series. One hip may feel a little different than the other, might be a little bit more open, might be a little bit more tight, so explore it. Lengthen out through that back leg, that right knee drawn in towards the center. Nice long spine up to crown of the head, maybe you drop down a little deeper into it. Take a breath. Take another breath. Stay there if you like, or come back up. Leg open up to the right side, rolling to that outside edge of the foot. Really press it away a little bit more, find a little bit more opening. And that back leg comes up, reach back, draw that heel forward. Wherever you're at, another breath. Take your time, slowly come up and out of it. Lock the side. Plant the hand, pop the back knee up. Take your time, build the foundation, reset the legs if you need to, draw it back up into that crescent. One breath here. Just like wobbling a little bit, that's good. We're doing our job, we'll go ahead and take it to warrior two, second side. Bend into that front knee, knees lined up over the ankle. Roll those hips open, roll the shoulders open. Reach out from the fingertips. Inhale, straighten that front leg, knees comes to the center. Big breath in. 
exhale, sink down. Inhale, lift, find a little pause. Exhale, sink and engage. Just that one more. And sink into that front leg. Extend that arm up and over, extended side angle. Use that block. I always say take that front arm up and in front of the face gives you a little bit more length in that shoulder. Draw that left shoulder back a little bit more so you're opening up to that heart. Checking with the belly, checking with the breath. Is that core strength, bring it back up to warrior two. Straighten that front leg and hip the hip. Reach forward and stack those shoulders. Triangle pull. Stay for breath. Back up, warrior two, one last time. We'll go ahead and turn towards the center of the mat. Turn both those toes in. Heels are out. Inhale, open up. Exhale, hinge and fold all the way down. Maybe bring that block along if you'd like. Maybe explore something a little different than you did the first time. So maybe forearms, maybe walk, bring it to the back. See if you can get the head to the block. Maybe you want to interlace the knuckles behind the back and take the shoulders up and over. Lots of options. Wherever you are, let's stay for another full round of breath here. Nice and slow. Draw out that exhale, maybe just a little bit extra. Squeeze those lower ribs, bringing out the sponge. Yeah. Start to come up halfway and go ahead and heel toe the feet in towards each other. Grab that block, go ahead and place it under the tail. We'll come into Malasana pose. Grab two if you'd like. That's too much for you. Go ahead and come into a wide seated fold. Toes are turned out, heels are in. Lift up through the chest, drop down through the tail. Then you can bring those elbows to the inside of the knees, just open up the hips a little bit more. Nice deep breath in. Good morning. Let's go ahead and take that left arm to the inside of that leg, open up that hip a little bit more, and then peel back the other arm, open up the chest. Slip off the wrist while we're there. Back to center, we'll do that to the other side. Draw the bow back, open up. Go ahead and release. Bring yourself up off the block. Take the feet together, no tricks. We'll go ahead and extend the legs out nice and long. A little time check. Well, plenty of time. All right. Okay. Sip of water. Is everybody feeling good? Wonderful. Go ahead and sit yourself up on a blanket if you'd like. Do a really nice little tilt in that pelvis. Start working through some forward folds. Takes a little pressure off that low back. All right. Go and extend out through the heels and draw those toes back in. Press the thighs down. Inhale. Just find some length in that torso. So big breath. Exhale. Hinge and fold. Reach out. You get curled down. 
knees can be bent slightly. Let's do that one more time. Drag your arms alongside the body. Roll up. Lengthen the spine. Up. Lengthen the torso. Out. And forward. Deep breath into the center of the back. Exhale, melt down a little more. Rock the hips side to side. Maybe there's another eighth of an inch in there. Walk the fingertips back. Go ahead and drag one heel in, then the other. Bhakanasana. Soles of the feet touch, toes together. Grab for either big toes with peace fingers, ankles, insides of shins, whatever feels good. Roll the shoulders back down, open up to the chest. So use that little bit of leverage here, just kind of tilt that pelvis, open the chest a little bit more. Nice big breath in. Stay here. Or if you'd like to walk the fingertips and fold forward, you can feel that on the inside of the hip a little bit more, the pelvis, the groin area. You're sitting up nice and tall, you can also have blocks on the outside, just a little extra support there. Let's just find a little bit of stillness here. Inhale to the center of the back, the hips. Exhale, let it all go. One more breath. And let that go. If you're folded, start to walk yourself back up and in. Box if you have. We'll extend the right leg out long. We'll slide that left heel in towards the inner thigh. Straighten out through that left uh, heel. Toes drawing back, so that keeps that knee nice and protected. We're gonna inhale, work through a little series here. Big breath in. On the exhale, we're gonna twist over to the left side. Roll that back shoulder back. Use that right arm on that thigh. Just a little bit more leverage in that twist. Keeping that right foot active. Big breath. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Inhale, lift up. Take that uh, right forearm to the inside of that thigh, shin, maybe even reach for that big toe. And then take that left arm up and over again. If you want to take it in front of the face, you might get a little bit more opening in the chest. If you want to draw that left elbow back so you open up the chest. More about opening the chest than getting into that side bend. Stay for a breath. Inhale back up. Twist over towards that right leg. This time we're gonna twist the opposite direction. So we're gonna take that left hand Maybe take it to the thigh. Go ahead and roll the back shoulder back. And if you can, you want to start to fold forward, you can reach, maybe connect with the outside edge of that right foot. Maybe just stay up kind of high. Take another breath. back up, lift up, find some length, and then chest over that left leg, right leg, and exhale, just pull yourself in. Let's 
We're starting to slow down here. Maybe just see about lengthening out that inhale, that exhale a little bit longer. Typically at a count of like three, maybe go to four. After four, you go to five. We're slowing everything down. One more big breath here. Walk the feet to the back and bring that knee up. Keep it on the inside or cross it over. One more little twist. Inhale, lift up. Twist from the base of the spine. Go ahead and wrap around that leg. Squeeze that knee in towards the rear. Deep breath in. Out. One more. Let that go. Go and twist yourself. Just take the legs out long, long kind of shake them out. The ankles shake out. Tap the backs of the thighs. Just let all that go. All right. Second side. Left leg long. Right heel in. That same series. <laughs> Inhale to lift. We'll twist over to the right. Left hand across that thigh. Great for squeezing that a little bit more leverage. Keeping that left leg active. Inhale, find length. Lengthen out the breath. Find a little bit more space. One more breath. Wind yourself. Let's slide that elbow to the inside of the thigh, shin, toe. We also have a block here. Off. You need a little bit extra lift. Roll that shoulder back. Inhale, up and over. Deep breath into the right rib. Right shoulder back as much as you can. Stay for a breath. And release, bring it back up. Inhale, lift. I'll take a gentle twist here. So, right hand across the thigh. Roll the left shoulder back. You'd like to kind of sink in, find a little bit of a full twist here. You can grab for that outside of the shin, thigh. You can't promote yourself for you. Maybe that left hand wraps around to the inner thigh or skirt. One more breath. One. Find that chest up, hold the leg. Here we go. Find length in the torso. Take that top of the So back up and in, draw that right knee up, keep it on the inside, cross it over, self situated, inhale, find length, twist from that base of the spine, squeeze that knee into the ribs. Twist back, looking over that right shoulder. 
small press here. Take your time, let it all go. Take the legs back out, give it a shake. Let's take it on down to the back. We'll go ahead and draw the knees in towards the chest. Squeeze the thighs in towards the ribs. Then draw the tailbone down towards the earth. We'll wrap around the, right below the knees or the shins. Give yourself a nice little squeeze. You can feel that in the hips. A little rock side to side. Go and take the legs up to the sky, grab the backs of the thighs, push the heels up to the sky, take the toes and draw them towards the face. Oh, inversion here. You can also put like a blanket just right under the tail, just gives you a little added support, kind of like legs up the wall. Around the breath here. And then go ahead and take the heels down, bring them right next to the glutes here. So kind of drag the heels in towards the glutes, the knees together. We'll work through a bridge series here. Palms down, fingertips down, forearms alongside the ribs. Go ahead and lift up through the hips. Squeeze the thighs together like you're holding a block in between them. Hip points come up to the sky. If you'd like a little more opening in the chest, you can slide the elbow underneath and puff up the chest. Interlace the palms together. Also take a block and put it underneath the tailbone to give you a little bit more added support. Here. Squeezing those thighs together. Belly engaged. Stay with the breath. The elbows are underneath. Go ahead and release the bind. Drop the hips down. Knees back up into the chest. Counter pose. Draw the nose up into the knee. Get a nice deep breath in. All right, we do that again, heels back down. Set yourself up for that bridge. Maybe you wanna do something a little different with the arms, you can inhale, lift the hips. Maybe the arms come up overhead, fingertips stretch out. You can do that bind again, whatever's calling to you. You could also have forearms down. Maybe you extend one leg up to the sky, a little bit more challenging. Keep that breath going wherever you are. Extended one leg, maybe at the second, not at the same time. <laughs> lower back down. Yeah, I'd like to see that. <laughs> All right, knees back in, nose back up, curl into a little ball. See a whole new yoga pose. Right. All right, heels back down. Still a little bit of core work here before we rest. All right, heels are down, kind of in that same spot we were in the bridge. We'll go ahead and take the arms up overhead, extend out the left leg and just float that heel up off the ground. Feel that belly fire up here. Maybe you pulse the leg a few times if you want more. Maybe you try to take the hands and touch the toe. So you're getting that same benefit if you're just pulsing a little bit, you want to go a little deeper, maybe you touch the knee, whatever, see what's available for you. And you're pressing down through that right heel to keep everything kind of squeezed in nice and tight. Let's do that a few more rounds. Moving with the breath, you're inhaling, lengthening, opening, exhaling, contract. Let's do two more times. 
and we'll go ahead and release. Just let all that go. Let the belly be soft for a minute. Now rock the hip side to side. Once you wipe the legs. All right, second side. Drag the heels back in towards the glutes. Arms up overhead. Extend out through the right heel. Float it off the ground and then maybe just a little pulse. Maybe you can get a contact with the toes and the fingers. Maybe you're touching the thigh. Get three more in. Move as slow or as fast as you like. All right, go ahead and let that all go. We'll bring the edges of the feet to the corners of the mat. Arms out to a T, and then just windshield wiper the legs. So dropping the knees from one side to the other. Feeling that on the outside hip. And when you're feeling kind of nice and balanced, drop the knees to one side. And then take the uh, opposite ankle, cross it over that knee, gives you a little bit of extra leverage there. Whichever way you're twisting, if you'd like to add on, just let the gaze go over to the opposite side. Let's see if you can find a little stillness here. Letting everything slow down. Still connecting with that breath, but just lengthening it out, slowing it down. Stay for one more breath in that twist. Release the top leg, and then let the legs fall forward to the opposite side. Take that twist to the opposite direction. Ankle over knee, gaze the opposite way if you'd like. One more breath there. All right, let's go ahead and these there. We'll take a Balasana Happy Baby. Just let the feet come up to the sky. Open the hips up nice and wide. Draw the tailbone down towards the strip. Go rock side to side. Feel that nice support. Release of the low back. A little Buddha smile. And just let everything go. Go ahead and extend the legs out nice and long. Just let the ankles fall open. Let that opening travel up into the hips, pelvis. Lift up the back of the head and just lengthen out through the back of the neck a little bit more and place it back down. Just let your heartbeat settle into your chest. Let the belly become soft. Let the bones be heavy. Just taking a few final moments here just to let that energy settle into the corners of the body we don't normally pay attention to. Just feeling the benefits of our practice. Just letting the mind be quiet. These last few final moments. Allow me to call you back.
and just begin to slowly deepen the breath. Just those subtle movements, welcoming movement back into the body. Wiggle fingers and toes, raise the eyebrows, moisten the lips. Take a nice full long body stretch by slide the ankles together and point the toes. Take the arms up overhead. Big breath in. Just feel a nice long lengthening to the spine. Then on that exhale, gather the knees up into the chest. Self one last final hug, squeeze in, maybe the nose back up into the knees. Take your time, roll off to your favorite side. Maybe you pause there in an embryo pose, feel that connection with the earth. And just keep the gaze soft. Take your time and make your way up to a comfortable seat with the eyes closed or the gaze soft. <clears throat> Bless. And in this easy seat, Sukhasana, we'll just feel the alignment of the body with the head over the heart and heart over the hips. Grounding stability through the tail, and lift and reach the crown. So inhale those arms out to the sides, up overhead. Big breath in here. And on the exhale, slide the palms down. We'll rest the thumbs against the sternum of the heart. Drop the gaze down. Let's take a moment here to thank ourselves for taking some time for ourselves today for our practice. Come on to the mat, a place of compassion, self exploration, recentering, rebalancing the focus. for me just being away for three weeks this always centers and grounds me prepare this class and come practice with this community so I'm very happy to be back nice inhale here Put my heart to yours namaste thank you everybody acknowledge your fellow yogis thank you everyone good to see you guys Oh, wonderful. All right. Thank you, everyone. Sure.